And keep get some energy going, huh? Get some, yeah. Hey, welcome, guys. Get some energy going for your next comic. Give it up. Back. So, yep, my name is Back. It's actually short for Backery. It's, uh, it's one of those weird made up names that successful black people have, like Kanye, LeBron, Barack, Backery. But let's use our imagination for a little bit here. And by your silence, I really appreciate your, uh, you have a good sense of imagination. Let's just enough successful, let's assume, right? Here's a headline I never want to read in my life. Comedian Bakery was arrested last night on drug possession in Austin, Texas. I'd be ashamed. I would be so ashamed. Like, my family would shun me. Like, I, there's no coming back from that. Like, I, I can already hear my dad going, the fuck is wrong with you? Like, your mom is devastated right now. Why the hell did you go by Bakery? Why? I told you to go by that. You basically shot yourself in the foot, son. So, speaking of shooting myself in the foot, um, I became a dad last year. Thank you, thank you. And guess what? I named my son Bakery. I mean, uh, Bakery. <laughs> and uh, why? Because I want him to go through the same shit I did, you know? And I want a little Bakery to grow up and be somebody, you know, unlike me. And you might think, and I don't care, I, I don't care if you think that's mean or that's egotistical, testicle, testicle, whatever. <laughs> he came out of my balls, he has my name, egotistical, whatever. You gotta love English. But the thing is, with a name like back, like I can't walk up to people like, hey, how you doing? I'm back. Because they have this buzzer look on their face like you do now, going, because you have a lot of questions like, uh, from where? And do you happen to have a brother in front? I got that one once, I thought that was ridiculous. Uh, but the thing is, for people to take me seriously, I have to break down my name every time I meet somebody. And actually, it's exhausting, man, it really is. So every time I meet, like the other day I met this dude, and I'm like, hey, how you doing? I'm back, B-A-K, like you're back, and I go like this. And he goes, hey, I'm Chris. His name's Chris. Chris is the most common name ever. Like, there are more Chris's out there than those scooters, and those things are every fucking where. Like, there's always a Chris 10 feet away from me at all times. We all work with a Chris. We all know a Chris, right? And, and Chris can be anybody. There's, there's white Chris, there's black Chris, there's, there's Asian Chris, there's Indian Chris, there's Latin Chris. There's no Native American Chris, though. Uh, Columbus pretty much killed that shit off, literally. Um, but there's too many Chris's is my point, and I can't keep up with all of them, so I came up with a system, a Chris quota, if you will. I have 10 Chris slots that I recycle every year. So if I meet a Chris, a new Chris, and my slots are full, sorry dude, can't fuck with you. Try again next year. Unless, unless you're Native American Chris, in which case, I have an extra slot just for you because you, my friend, are a rare Pokemon. And I'm keeping your ass around, for real. But, um, so I went to Chris a couple of days later at uh, Whole Foods, or as I call it, uh, ponytail and yoga pants. And uh, I'm like, hey, what's up, Chris? And he goes, what up, buddy? Who the hell's buddy? Like, I literally give you a way to remember my name. I spelled it out. B-A-K, and I went like this. But that's not enough for you. But guess what, Chris? If my name was Richard, and I walked up like, hey, I'm Dick, D-I-C-K, knock my dick! My name would be carved in your head for the rest of your fucking life. <laughs> I guarantee you. Actually, my name, my face, and my dick for the rest of your fucking life. I'm telling you that right now. But, um... If you thought my first name was weird, uh, my last name, it's, uh, it's actually pronounced Zumanigi. And I'm not gonna spell it out. Like, trust me, your attention span, you, you'd rather watch the entire season of Game of Thrones than wait for me to finish spelling my last name, you don't want it. 
And uh, but I heard I've been in this country 20 years, and I've heard all the classics. I get uh, Zubumafu, that was good. Uh, Zumongu. I got Jumanji once. Jumanji. I thought that was pretty cool. But my, my all-time favorite is Roll Call, first year in college, and there's a lot of us in class. By the time the, the teacher got to Williams, he was already exhausted. And, uh, and I'm last, so he can't really skip me, right? And he takes a deep breath and he goes, Zo, 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 my nigga! It's bakery, Zo, my nigga here. And I'm like, yeah, that's me. Just <laughs> call me back. BAK, like you're back. And I wasn't mad. I wasn't mad because I never heard that version of my last name, one. And two, I was a popular kid the whole semester because all my black folks were like, yo, yo, back, back, back. You know, you my nigga, right? The whole semester. Am I at my time over? Yeah, 30 seconds. Oh, all right. Nah, I'll just cut right here. I'm good. Thank you so much. I'm back. Shout out to Mike. Thanks, man. Good, I'm back, everybody. Back. Back, back, back. Come on. <laughs> all right. Yo, so I just did set number 12, I think, I think 12. Anyway, it was at uh, Seven Grand, which is on, around the corner on 7th and Trinity. It's supposed, it was supposed to be at Teller's, but they moved it last minute. Nice, nice place with uh, pool tables and all that. So right before I got there, I rewrote, I've been trying to find a way, an angle for my bakery, bakery joke. And uh, I think I finally got it and I barely rehearsed it. I just wrote it out. Uh, kind of went over it in my head a few times, but not really out loud. And I was actually able to uh, to deliver it. Uh, there was a bunch of comics in the, in the audience, and these are people who've you know seen me go up. So um, I don't know, it's kind of tougher to perform in front of comics because one, they heard your set before probably, and two, they're working on their stuff. So they're not necessarily uh, focused on um, listening to you uh, which is fine i totally get it i totally get it but i made a few laugh i gotta admit uh, i made a few laugh but anyway uh yes but a couple of things that that happened i was able to put some more pauses in my set here and there um but also you gotta realize that if you mark a pause and nobody laughs you gotta keep going right but i still think i spoke too way too fast um and i gotta i gotta slow down because uh, right now, so this set was like four and a half minutes or so, maybe maybe just four minutes. Uh, and the set I have for the Funniest Person in Austin contest, I uh, got to be up to six minutes. So I got to mark, mark more pauses and I got to speak slower. I, I really got to work on that. Uh, so I will be speaking much slower moving forward. I only have a week left to practice this thing. I'm going up on the 14th, uh, Sunday, 8 o'clock. Uh, if you want to come through, come through. There'll be a video. I'll probably put I'll put it up later. Uh, but yeah, but check out some comedy. There's a lot in town every day. There's either an improv or a showcase or open mic all over town. So go check it out. It's some really funny guys, funny girls out there who are doing this. Um, you know, some that you know that uh that are really really funny some that are less funny but nonetheless like the great patrice o'neill said a good joke and a bad joke come from the same place so they're just working things out just like i've been doing and i've been taking you along for the ride um i really enjoy the writing part like t trying to figure out what word would be funnier move sentences left and right um i really enjoy that so um yeah that's all i got set number 12 thank you for keeping up with me and uh i'll see you around ciao ciao peace